Vandalism on Melbourne's rail network is playing havoc with timetables and costing operator Metro millions of dollars. Figures obtained by Nine News have revealed the alarming extent of the problem. Andrew Lund with details in this exclusive report. Hurtling through Melbourne's outer eastern suburbs, these teenagers are risking their lives just to tag a train. It's incredibly dangerous, it's stupid, it's idiotic and it's an accident waiting to happen, it's a death wish. Vandalism on Melbourne's train network costs more than $10 million a year to fix. Repairing damaged windows is an almost constant job. Metro replaces more than 3,000 panes of glass every year. Vandalism and graffiti um, is reprehensible behaviour, really. Uh, it's pointless, it's dangerous and it's stupid. Documents obtained by Nine News from Public Transport Safety Victoria revealed that last year, vandalised windscreens alone delayed or disrupted 238 trains. Of those, 121 trains had to be pulled out of service. In many cases, the damage is only uncovered at the end of the line. It means the train is forced to run empty back to the depot, leaving passengers to wait for the next one. For every train we have to take out to repair, that's a train full of passengers that it cannot carry. Um, so that can affect thousands of people across the network. A joint campaign between Metro and police has succeeded in cutting reported incidents of vandalism from 1,299 in 2009 to 950 last year. The high level stuff is, is very organised and done by, by gangs but it ranges from teenagers and we've charged people before upwards of 38 years old. Penalties range from an on the spot fine to 10 years jail. Andrew Lund, Nine News.